Welcome back fish lovers. Today I'm going to give you more info about my, my CO2 drop checker which is this one over here. I'm going to show you a close-up next. I'm going to tell you what uh, it is for, how to use it and uh, how to read it. This is a close-up with my uh, CO2 drop check. I use this uh, as a way to tell uh, what level of CO2 is in my uh, water. This uh, device, let me focus on it. This device uh, will show me the optimum CO2 level that I uh, must have in uh, my planted aquarium. You can see it in here, it's a bit dark. This is the scale with the color of the CO2 dropper, of the, the CO2 drop check. Uh, you have to know the water hard, hardness before you can use this scale. I, I know that my water hardness is between uh, 2 and uh, 7 uh, dKH. Uh, I don't know, how, uh, how do you say that? Anyway, uh, my water hardness is uh, uh, about 6 or 7 German degrees, I believe is that. I'm not uh, very sure. So, if you can see here, uh, a light green color, uh, uh, more yellow to green color which is pH uh, 6.5 uh, will the indicate uh, sufficient uh, CO2 level in my tank. Uh, I do have a pH meter which uh, tells me that my water in uh, this tank is 6.5 so the color of this drop uh, of, of this CO2 drop check is indicated that uh, the CO2 le level is sufficient as you can see let me get a, a bigger picture here so the, the primary purpose of this uh, drop checker is to warn me about uh, dangerously high CO2 levels levels in this tank which can uh, poison my fish and uh, kill them so uh, when the, the CO2 levels rise too much in the, my tank will, uh, uh, will uh, eventually rise the pH will lower the pH and uh, that will, will kill my fish. I do have uh, something to measure the pH level. It, uh, because I use uh, uh, how, how to tell you uh, CO2 tank, I uh, never uh, have uh, pH swings in here. It's constantly, all the time, so uh, I don't really need this uh, CO2 dropper, drop check. I just put it in my tank just to make a video with it. I don't really use it. This is the color I get all the time. So this is like a, a, a pH uh, indicator and also a CO2 level indicator because you can uh, you can see that the color in here it will show you the pH and also the CO2 level which is very handy all planted aquarium should have this especially if you use a, a do-it-yourself CO2 
injection systems because uh, the CO2 produced by, produced by the yeast is not constant. It could be less or more CO2 in your tank. So this, uh, uh, this CO2 indicator will warn you about uh, danger, dangerously high levels of CO2 in your tank. But you must be careful. The, the fish will probably warn you faster because this CO2 drop check will uh, take a few hours to modify uh, its color. So uh, if you see your fish uh, rising up to the surface and uh, breathing uh, harder and uh, uh, in need of oxygen, that's definitely a CO2 problem in your tank. And you could you could actually lose your all your fish intoxicated with CO2. You must be very very careful. Yeah, this is my CO2 drop check. I'll show you now. Uh, in here, see it. This is the box. CO2 continuous just waiting for my phone to focus it doesn't want to focus on this yes CO2 continuous measure and test so you just uh, add the reactive into that plastic cap I put aquarium water in there flip it over and I place it into my aquarium It is uh, reliable and the solution, the reactive solution will last you a long time. It's cheap and easy to know. But like I said, I don't use it because uh, I do have a CO2 tank. And uh, the CO2 flow that you see over here the back. It's constant, I never turn it off, it uh, injects CO2 into my tank all the time, every time, at day, at night, so I have a, I have a constant pH level in here, which is uh, 6.5 pH all the time, my, uh, my tap water pH is uh, 7, and in here it's 6.5, because of the CO2 injection. CO2 injection is uh, lowering the pH level in here, in my tank. My beautiful discus. The large ones, adult, adults. The adult one. So, this is my video for today. Hope your fish are, do are doing fine. And, hope you have crystal water in your tanks. Bye.